Okay guys, just wanted to give you a little bit of a update. I got a uh, few more of these uh, NARC cars here, North American Rail Corporation. Got uh, two grain cars here. And this Procore coal sulfur unit. And uh, I want to try them out again. Um, I didn't know this, but I'd had way back a few of them. I think that was when they were still made by Intermountain. And, uh, they're distributed by PWRS. I've been talking to Dan a lot. He got me on their porter system. And, uh, I got these three here today. And I have to say they are the most detailed, best rolling, rolling stock that, uh, that I have, and I've got some Atherns and all kinds of different stuff, some Intermountains and all that, but by far, these are the best rolling stock, and I already had about 50 more on order, and I'm going to be going into the house and ordering about another 80 cars right away. So I'll be getting that complete Alberta set that's coming out. And I've got a complete set of the potash ordered, and I'll be ordering a, probably another two sets of green cars since I'm going to have two different elevators and a port for that on my layout, which I finished today. So that's where it hooked up before. It was just a horseshoe, now it's a complete double over. And I even put the uh, double crossover in, which I wish was a little bit wider. Uh, I run about, I'd say, two inches or more. No, sorry, three inches of space in my track. And I had to suck it up so the cork was touching each other just to get it to go through properly. I wish that uh, Walther's would make theirs a little bit wider. So I think most people are probably running a little bit wider than the cork touching. So I got a little bit of fixing up to do. Some of the uh, the floor on here is really uneven. And it takes a lot of shimming and stuff to get it to all line up. And this whole corner is low, so I'll have to get my brother over to help me lift it up and, and level, it all, level it all out. You can see here, this piece here isn't supported really well yet. I did this, I lifted this whole 8 foot piece in by myself, so I haven't got it all tuned up the way I like it just yet. So, anyways, here's the layout. It's a disaster. I've been unwrapping stuff left and right, and well, I like to do about 10 different things at the same time, so, anyways. Uh, about one o'clock in the morning here been working on it for about three hours I finally got it done ran the uh, AC 6000 I've seen it in my favorite lately around and uh, yeah real impressed with these NART cars took them right up to 128 and they went around through the crossovers and through the, the switches perfectly never skipped a beat um, that wasn't when when I finally got all my track that's you know, just a little bit out here and there, lined up. The those NART cars they don't like having very much of a gap or one rail a little bit higher than the other. So you got to make sure that they're real close and real tight. And and then once you do that, man, they run well. They run way better than these cheap cars that I have out here. So, like I said, I'm ordering probably about a hundred more of them here. So, anyways, you guys have a good night. I'll uh, talk to you guys when I have something new to show you.